Hey, this is Scott from Astro Northwest. I've just finished wiring up my um, CEM60 with the uh, William Optics FLT132 on board. And the, uh, the, the aim of this whole thing was to get a setup that I could easily transfer my uh, Rasa back onto this or my LX200 10 inch SCT uh, onto it. <coughs> so um, I think I've got it with a little help from watching uh, Chuck from uh, Michigan who recommended that I bring all the wires up to the telescope like this from the cameras and here's the one that comes from the um, guide camera they kind of drape down they come up and I've got them into a little velcro loop right here that I can easily take off if I want to all this stuff is held up with little velcro loops that are removable um, down here I've got my uh, got my strip my 120 to 110 strip I've got my pocket power left one spot open for I can't remember what goes there but anyway there's one spot open oh yeah my focuser I guess which is in the mail and then uh, there's the 5 amp power supply that powers everything I got rid of one of my little power supplies the five or the three amp I think it was no this is a 10 amp this is 10 amp I got rid of the five amp and uh, just decided to go ahead and run run this wire here to the mount straight off the Pegasus because it has plenty of power for that um, here's the camera Here's my other camera. It's all USB. Um, these are for the guide scope or the polar alignment scope. And I guess this provides power to the mount, which also drives this, the, the uh, alignment, polar alignment scope. So this is just for the uh, image and this is for the power for that camera and what else we have i've got my usb distribution block right here and that's just sitting there on one leg and of course i've got the ever-present velcro velcro patch to put my um, handset on hand controller uh, depending on what side of the tripod I'm working on um, over here I've got it kind of stuck to the 110 volt power supply so anyway that's uh, that's it wasn't that hard and I think it'll work well with my Rasa the only difference is I'll have to take this wire and move it over to this end actually this end which is where the camera would be but I don't think I'll have to lengthen it or anything um, I might pull a little extra slack through the loop there um, but other than that I uh, think this will work for both well for all three of my telescopes so there you have it I said I'd give you a little rundown on how it ended up and this is it uh, just one power supply um, and one uh, USB hub. And that seems to be all I need. All right. If this helped you out, give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you later when I get some new images. Bye.